What up, man? It's you, Maniacs. So today is May 27th, 2024, and Chromie's Crypto Carnival Pink Box is on eBay. I know some of you are aware of this already, but if you go check out Hello Kitty, how perfect is that? Uh, yeah, they're selling these boxes for $150 each. You can't even send a best offer. It's just $150 flat, which is insane. Uh, they sold four, and there's eight available. Cool collector's item. If I bought this, I would not open it, but it would be cool to see someone's video opening this box, though. All right, here we have 84 Topps Metazoo Wilderness boxes for $515. That's just over $6 a box. Uh, next, we have Mermaid Scales, Full Hollow PSA 10 Kickstarter. How is this going up in value? If anyone knows, comment below, please. I mean, this is $112 for Mermaid Scales. That's more than what Sam Sinclair sells for. Piazza Bird, uh, Power Up Red, pretty much anything except for Chaos Crystal, Loveland Frogman. Actually, this might even be more than Chaos Crystal. Uh, Loveland Frogman and Mothman are the only things I know for sure that are above this. This is Mermaid Scales. Uh, here we have Octena Full Hollow from Native, PSA 10 for $42.89. Don't see this too often. A lot of the Native artwork was pretty sweet. I had to include this card because if you've seen in that 2021 FOMO video, Reverse Hollow Kickstarter, sorry, Reverse Hollow Kickstarter Chaos Crystals were selling for over like $300 raw. Now it's selling for $4.75. Uh, next we have some more cards from Nick Strength the Pokemon's birthday stream. So Power Up Red, $36 raw. This is crazy how cheap these cards are. Uh, Ghost Train sold for $38. Hey, Chaos Crystal Full Hollow sold for $56.55. And Reverse Hollow Mothman sold for $58.05. Uh, nothing too special here, it was just a buy it now, but this is a card you can get in uh, Topps Wilderness that maybe people aren't aware of. See, it's got the Wilderness logo down here. Uh, it's insanely off-centered, but who cares? I mean, this card just looks sweet. I wish there was a hollow version of this card. Yeah, that's pretty OC. Here we have Headless Coal Miner. From Nightfall, Full Hollow, PSA 10, $8.50. Five boxes of the original Top Series Zero, uh, $60 as a buy it now. Uh, here we have the Silver Party Token, uh, serialized out of $750. These have gone down in price quite a bit, uh, $36.50. Uh, this was a steal of a deal. Yeah, it's Old Green Eyes, not the most popular cryptid, but it's Top's Chrome serialized out of five, and it got a PSA 10. So for $55, that is 100% a good deal. Uh, here we have the C2E2 promo. Uh, very hard to come across. PSA 10, not many of these. Uh, $65 only though. Uh, here we have an Uncle Sam, uh, alternate art, cryptid camera, serialized out of 99, green refractor for $31. Uh, here we have the CGC, ooh, pristine 10. Nightfall, or sorry, yeah, Nightfall Mothman from Pin Club. Only $7.50. Here we have the Rainbow Rizard, serialized out of 50, cryptic camera, gold refractor. Uh, PSA 10, $51. Debrews times Metazoo, I love this promo card. PSA 10, only for $19. I have one of these raw, but damn, I mean, this is such a cool promo card. It's Bigfoot holding a Mothman shirt. I mean, this is just, that is awesome artwork. But what's going on down here? Look at this guy, is that Sam Sinclair? Is that Mike Waddell down here? Someone fist pumping hard. Well, I can't blame him. If I was there and I saw this in person, I'd be pretty excited too. Uh, here we have a first edition growth. So not Kickstarter, PSA 10, $12.50. Hey, it's Rose Robinson from Wilderness, uh, full hollow. And it's got a sketch and a doodle. PSA 10, only $20.50. Let's check out the doodle. Yeah, it's cool. Looks like her face, right? Uh, here we have one of the yeah, one of the promo cards you don't see too often. Sam Sinclair and uh, Loveland Frogman. $54 for a PSA 10. Here we have a Earth Aura, one of the partner stamp cards, PSA 10. Sold for $6.50. Hey, Man in Black from the Disclosure Pages. Has a PSA 10, $51. Not bad at all. Uh, here we have Flatwood Monster. Flatwoods Monster from the Disclosure Pages, PSA 10. Sold for $40. Let's take a look at that. Don't see that every day. Uh, here we have Mothman from Pin Club. These cards were never never had any value, and I never understood why. But PSA 10, uh, twenty-two dollars and fifty cents. Uh, I just had to throw this in here because I really like this artwork. But the Dimlock Mothman, 
PSA 9, only $10. I hear we have Magic Cast Mothman. Very underrated Mothman. I 100% love collecting this. Uh, Full Hollow PSA 10, only $14.50. And then another one of these Magic Cast Mothman. Full Hollow Gem Mint from CGC, only $5.50. Hey, anyone remember these promo cards when they came out at uh, the NYCC? You, if you went to PSA and you graded a card, they'd give you one of these, and they had a thousand of these to give out. These used to sell for over $100, or at least well over $80, no problem, all day, every day. Now it's only $13. Now right here we have the alternate art Mothman from Nightfall Pin Club for $39 as a PSA 10. Uh, this is pretty sweet. Cumberland Dragon alternate art pin club from Wilderness, only $18.27. I mean, everyone loves a sample of Cumberland Dragon. That sells for a lot of money. This is a pretty sweet artwork too. If you like Cumberland Dragon, I think this is essential to have in your collection. And here we have the alternate art Wendigo uh, PSA 10, sold for only $18.50. And as well, we have the alternate art Headless Horseman PSA 10. Man, whoever's picking these up, these are amazing deals. These are sweet looking cards. I've never been in the pink club myself, but $15.50. And here we have a reverse hollow Kickstarter Mothman PSA 9, sold for only $78.01. Now oh, we're hitting some new record lows for one of the nicest looking cards, but as a PSA 10, I guess there's just too many out there, and <laughs> there's absolutely no value in these cards for some reason. PSA 10, uh, New Year Celebrations, Love Down Frogman right on there. Uh, $1.25 as a PSA 10. Well, American, 91 cents. And another one for 91 cents. And another one for 72 cents. Holy moly. I'm not sure why this went for so low, but uh, 50, I mean, anything that I have in this video re regarding Rudy and his promos or playmats being very cheap, I guarantee you're going to see in Umu's videos coming up. So, here you go, Umu. 15. MetaZoo times Rudy Alpha Investment Playmats, 15 of them for only $5.50? That doesn't even make sense. Uh, here we have those rare Hit the Road promos, very cool cards. Quetzalcoatlus, PSA 9, $42.49. For a PSA 9 MetaZoo card, that's actually pretty good. But I mean, the artwork on these is just... I hope they come up with a whole set of these. And I'm pretty sure in Bailey's Whatnot stream, there was some original art showing other hit the road uh, sketches for other promos that could have been made. Uh, here we had to buy it now for Ghost Train from Hero Quest for 20 bucks. Uh, the artwork is just sweet. Look at this. That's just badass. Now we're going to pound through some PSA 9 Kickstarter cards just to see where the pricing's at. So for Black Hole Shard, Full Hollow, uh, $13.49. Full Hollow Hodag Kickstarter, PSA 9, $16.50. Silver Bullet Kickstarter, PSA 9, $9.50. And this price makes Nick Strength and Pokemon's Chaos Crystal even more impressive. His raw Chaos Crystal Full Hollow sold for $56. This is a PSA 9 already graded. You don't have to spend the grading fees. Uh, another amazing deal, steal of a deal. Piazza Bird Full Hollow Kickstarter, PSA 9, only $25.96. Now we're going to run into a train of autograph cards. So we got Poncho Autograph on the Alternate Art Headless Horseman, $25. Uh, here we have a Forest Aura doodled by Jeff Yates. <coughs> Sorry, Jet Yates, $11.50. Here we have a Light Aura doodled by Afton for $16.50. This card's just sweet. It's a Reverse Hollow Wendigo, but for $20 with this Poncho Doodle, this is like, this is more than worth 20 bucks. This is a steal of a deal. Yeah, I'm just gonna zoom in right. Oh my goodness, that looks badass. All right, here we have Jersey Devil, first edition, full hollow, doodled and autographed by Victor, uh, Victor Larson. $37, not bad. Here we have Babe Blue Ox, first edition, full hollow, doodled and sketched by Victor Larson, $26.47. Let's just zoom in on the doodle there. Boom. Right, here we have a Hero Quest 2.0, Earth Aura, doodled by Jeff Yate. Why do I keep saying Jeff? Jet Yates, uh, $15. Let's see if we can see that doodle. It's kind of dark. Oh yeah, I can see it now. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I like it. Here we have Iowa Dragon, uh, doodled by Chris. Let's see here, $20, $22.50. Chris Campman. 
Yeah, that's pretty cool. And this is absolutely awesome. Actually, all these autograph cards that we just went through, steal of a deal. Amazing, cool little doodles and autographs. This is signed by Lily, Chris, and Poncho with a doodle from each one of them for $30 only. Flame Aura. Oh my goodness. Like, that's awesome for 30 bucks. That is an amazing looking card. Uh, here we have a Prism Aura from Wilderness that sold for $12. Uh, here we have a shit ton of Mothman or Mothman cards for $318 American. Let's see if we can just scan through this quick. So from Top Series Zero, the Aura Hollow or the Aura Border. Yeah, some first edition full hollow and reverse hollow PSA 10s. Some raw cards there from Top's Chrome. Another first edition full hollow Mothman. Holy moly, a whole bunch there. Yeah, so there's quite a bit. Um, hey, if you like Mothman, this would probably be a steal of a deal. Uh, here we have four first edition blister packs for only $15.50. Uh, one little tidbit I have to say about these is anytime I open these in the past, every time I open one, I got a full hollow. I'm not saying they only have full hollows, but I never opened up a first edition blister that didn't have a full hollow in it. Uh, here's some cool promo cards from Chrome Crypto Carnival that you would only get when, if you bought the plushie, it had an authentic uh, card in it, like a unique artwork. So this is Chromie. They're all Chromie, but this is the costume version of the promo, $46 authenticated. And then this is the Carnival Pink variation of it, uh, $20.50. This is the purple variation, only $15.50. Uh, here we have the original promo cards between Hello Kitty and MetaZoo. They used to sell for a hell of a lot more. So these are all raw. This is the My Melody card, $18.50. Uh, the Chromi promo card, only $27.58. Choco Cat, $59.89. And Hello Kitty has been dethroned. Choco Cat, it was more expensive raw. Hello Kitty, only $57. That's crazy. Uh, next we have a MetaZoo sample tarot card, 83 bucks. What do you think of these sample tarot cards? I think it is very thick up here. I mean, it's not even about grading it, I guess. I don't know, I've never, I was never attracted to the sample tarot cards. Was anyone watching this? I mean, obviously I like the original sample cards from MetaZoo, but sample tarot cards, I don't know, they just didn't do it for me. Uh, here we have the MetaZoo DeBruz promo again. Raw, $17.50. So whoever bought it as a PSA 10 earlier in the video for $19, that was a steal of a deal. Uh, here's one of my favorite promo cards. I don't know why it's so undervalued in my opinion, but $11.20. That doesn't even co cover the grading fees. PSA 10. This promo card is sweet. This is one of the nicest looking, well, I don't know if it's nice looking, but it's one of the most like badass, scary chupacabra artworks I've seen. Like what the hell, man? And the cool thing about this card too, is from 2020, right? 2020 is the era of sample cards in Kickstarter. It was drawn by Andrew Wilson. Uh, here we have two boxes of Magic Cast for $25. Here we have the MetaZoo Revive Piazza Bird unscratched, so you can still redeem it for the skateboard. $19. I wonder what's going to happen with that when everything comes out of the warehouse from Golden and MetaZoo, if it gets picked up, the IP. Like all those skateboards that are sitting there, is there going to be a way to redeem these to get the skateboard? So I imagine something's going to be set up at some point in time. Like it just doesn't make sense that someone with the right amount of power isn't going to set up some kind of program to be able to redeem and get those boards and do the right thing. All right, here we have a full hollow Kickstarter Bigfoot PSA 9, only $32. Uh, here we have the Kickstarter map that you can only get out of the, oh yeah, I think you get this out of the booster box. Uh, Nick Strength of Pokemon, $2.25 only. It's a cool little map. If you've never seen one of these Kickstarter maps before, it's pretty cool. So whoever got that for two dollars twenty-five cents, that was a good deal. Uh, here's a lot of three cards. So we got the Chibi Aura, Chibi Sam Sinclair, and Chibi Adam Ackler, and a random ground full hollow aura. I don't know what <laughs> if that was supposed to add value, but all the value was clearly in this card right here, the Chibi Aura. So eighty bucks, not bad. Uh, we have a new record load. This is insane. This card can only go up from here. PSA 10, Power Up Red, first edition, uh, $2.74.
Uh, this is interesting right here. So we have Full Hollow Mothman from Nightfall, PSA 10, sold for $23.41 American. I don't know, maybe not since Nightfall first came out that this ever happened, but Wendigo sold for more. Wendigo Full Hollow PSA 10 sold for more than a Full Hollow Mothman PSA 10. That is crazy. About $3 more, I mean, not much more, but still, it sold for more as of May 25th, 2024. When to go full hollow is more valuable than the full hollow Mothman when you open up a box in Nightfall. Uh, here we have 13 refractor cards from MetaZoo Tops Chrome. Five of them are X Fractor, and all the rest are regular refractor. And that's sold for $59.26. Here we have a second edition full hollow Mothman PSA 10, sold for $22.68. Uh, reverse hollow Mothman. Remember in my other video, the FOMO 2021 video? Yeah, this sold for like $1,500 somehow. Now it sold for $23.78. Reverse Hollow First Edition Mothman, not Kickstarter, PSA 10. And then the Full Hollow First Edition Mothman, PSA 10, sold for $96.93. Isn't it crazy? Like two and a half years ago, this was a $1,700 card or in that ballpark. And now you can get it for less than 100 bucks. Uh, here we have a Kickstarter, Sam Sinclair, PSA 10. Sold for $94. Uh, here we have Polybius, Playtester UFO. It's a non-hollow, it's $12.99. I had to show this because anyone that watches Angry Video Game Nerd knows damn well why this card is so cool. So whoever picked this up, good price, pretty cool, and if you know, you know. Uh, here we have Hello Kitty card from Chromie's Crypto Carnival. Sold for, I believe it was a buy it now for $76.49. Uh, here we have a content, content creator medal. The very first one in a Beckett 9 for $124.50. So, this has gone down quite a bit in value. I mean, it's not the best grade, but still, it's a pretty rare card, and I'd say that was a pretty good price for that card. Uh, here we have Loveland Frogman Alternate Art Green Refractor Serialized on 99. Uh, Cryptid Camera for $42.49. Uh, here's an absolutely sweet card to have in your collection for only $24.50 as a PSA 10. Nameless Token. It's the box topper when you get the Wilderness Times eBay box, you know, it's got the 10 packs and a box topper. I mean, holy crap. That's awesome. Is it Poncho that drew this? Probably. Let's check it out. Yeah, who else? Poncho. Uh, here's a surprising low auction. I mean, only 100 bucks. This card's not too common. I believe it's serialized out of 200, but Dimmock, Mothman, the rug, uh, yeah, like the rugs promo, whatever. PSA 10. Only 100 bucks. Here we have a regular box of Chromie's Crypto Carnival for $35.50. And another one for $31. Here's a box of Wilderness sold for $15.50. And a box of Nightfall for $27. Hey, Kickstarter Mothman artwork pack. Just a single pack. Uh, it's going for $35. I know this one sold for $30, so that's pretty cool. Remember when just buying a Kickstarter pack with the Mothman artwork on it? This would have been at least a $300 pack at one point, if not way more, like maybe $500. Hey, the Dimlock, uh, this is the rug. So we saw the promo earlier as a PSA 10 for $100. The rug for only $48. That's pretty badass. $48, why not? That's a steal of a deal. Uh, MetaZoo Kickstarter medal, uh, yeah, $20.50. These used to be a lot more expensive and pretty cheap now. Uh, here we have another, I see these every week now, the MetaZoo uh, Fan Illustrator medal PSA 10. $114.05. Let's just take a look at that. Pretty cool artwork. Here we have the New York City King, the Rat King promo. Uh, $113.50. And that's a pristine 10. The old pristine 10. Crazy. So is the autographs authenticated? Oh, okay. They just signed on the case. So Mike Waddell signed the case. Still. Pretty hard card to f come across, $113 already graded in a pretty good grade too. $113.50, I'd say that was a pretty good deal. Hey, they made a profit on this of $2.50. These were selling for $150 on TCG Player's account for like ever. And they sold it for $152.50 for two boxes. Uh, two neutrality totalities for $12 total. Hey, Loveland Mailman. One of the most iconic promos in all of MetaZoo. I mean, if you're around since the beginning, you know how crazy this card is. And as a PSA 10, only $67.89.
Uh, first edition Full Hollow Mothman PSA 10, $103.49. Another Full Hollow Mothman was Buy It Now for $124, so $125 American. Ooh, this skateboard looks sweet. So, Headless Horseman and the card too. Wow, $54 only. Like, tell me, how would this not look good on your wall? That is awesome. Hey, we have some of the original art finally popped up on eBay that people purchased off of uh, Bailey's live stream and whatnot. So the first one we have is $36.69. I believe that's a sketch for the UFO binder. So if you buy the UFO binder, this is the artwork that's on the front. That's pretty cool. Uh, only $36.69. Uh, here's a Hidden Templar sketch, $46. Let's take a look. Yeah, that's pretty badass. Uh, here we have the Ace of Pentacles, original art, $76. Let's take a look here. Pretty nice. And the most expensive one was the Ten of Swords for the tarot cards. Sketch, $102.50. Pretty cool. That's Adam Ackler, I believe. Oh, that's really cool, actually. Look at that. Baseball bats turning into a sword. I mean, behind the card hero, uh, I mean, this was one of the chase cards, without a doubt. PSA 10, death, only five bucks. Damn, Hero Quest has gone down a lot. Like the 2.0 is almost worthless at this point. The 1.0, depending on the card, still has some decent value though. And yeah, there was a lot of Topps Chrome uh, serialized cards, like green refractors at a 99, purchased on May 26, 2024. Like. A lot and for really cheap so and yeah look, look at this, this is crazy this is all May 26 tops chrome cards just boom 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 and I can't even show them all I'm just gonna show like maybe about 30 of them. Just, and I mean, these are good prices. Considering the fact that a box is gonna cost you at least 20 to $30, you're not guaranteed to get a numbered card. And you're buying these for much less than the price of a box. So Meta Dave of Alabama has taken the MetaZoo community by storm with his Topps Chrome collection and, his, and has increased the competition level with the Topps Chrome collections. Uh, here was an interesting card, PSA 10. It says best offer price was $40. Uh, just a unique card you don't see very often, which is the chapter six cover art. Now, I don't think this actually came out as an actual physical comic book or whatever, but it'd be pretty cool to have a set of these just like encapsulated all the different cover arts. But the only way to get these is if you open up MetaZoo Tops Wilderness, like those boxes we saw 84 boxes for $515. Those are the only boxes you can get cards like this from. And to end this video, if you're looking for any of the original artwork that was sold on Bailey's Whatnot stream, there is a seller on eBay, Supercell, that has quite a few listings, so I'm just going to go through them quick to end the video, and we'll go from there. So first we have Wapalusi, pretty cool. Uh, we have Wendigo 101, I mean that's the original sketch for World Poker Tour. That's pretty badass, that's really nice. Damn. Oh, Page of Cups from the tarot cards. Oh, let's zoom in properly there. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Uh, we have the wooden wilderness watch. Oh, okay. That's pretty cool, actually. Very nice. Uh, Seance Binder Art Sketch. Well, the unreleased artwork of that. So they didn't actually use this. That's pretty cool. Uh, Black Eyed Children, this is just badass. This is so creepy. Here, we'll get the auto get. Oop. Yeah, let's zoom right in. That's awesome. I mean, we got Bigfoot, Bunny Man, Baby Blue Ox, and Loveland Frogman. That's really badass. Is there a card with this artwork on it? Because I don't remember there being one. If there is, that'd be really cool. And yeah, I guess we'll end the video where we started with the uh, Chrome Crypto Carnival pink box. Are you going to buy one of these? Would you spend $150? And if you did, would you open it? Would you buy two, keep one? I think that's extremely expensive, but they are rare. So anyways, comment below and we'll see you in the next video.
Fabulous secret powers were revealed to me the day I held aloft my magic sword and said, By the power of Grayskull!